Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I, I got the uh, graveyard shift. Um, but uh, actually, that's good because I've got the easiest job, which is uh, selling water powered generators. So, um, my name is Dominic Jones. I'm uh, new to the team here at Brilliant Light. I joined, uh, in fact, about uh, this is week nine uh, for me. Thank you, Randy. Um, and I've taken over corporate and business development. Um, so, what I wanted to talk to you about today uh, was, was less about the statistics of, uh, obviously, the trillions of dollars worth of market uh, that we can go after. And, um, of course, we've talked previously about the fact that this is a, a strategy to implement behind the meter um, and to take everything off grid and to uh, eventually uh, move to a world where this distributed system allows us to be able to achieve so much more uh, certainly uh, uh, than, than we can with the constraints of the grid today. But really, well, what I thought I'd focus on today was giving you an understanding about what we're doing right now, because uh, I think that's uh, somewhat overlooked in the, in the journey to the vision. Um, so, pardon me, go the right way. So, so what, what I wanted to talk to you about today was a, a, a very uh, sort of simplified go-to-market model. What we've done over the last... Uh, eight weeks since I've been here uh, working with the team and, and, and getting ourselves organized, we have come up with uh, this, this very simple model. So um, we have the application, we've got the route to market, and we've also got the verticals that we're focused on. Um, starting with the stationary market, moving of course into motive, and then looking at uh, direct leasing and strategic partners and distributors as uh, geographical routes to market into these various different sectors. And then also looking at the other applications of this power source, uh, as well as, of course, the, the, uh, we talked a little bit about the, um, the other products that, that come as a result of this, the byproducts that come as a result of this, and, and an application for those. And looking at forming development partnerships with organizations, some of whom uh, we've uh, invited here today uh, to talk about uh, how we might uh, do that. So when we looked at the development cycle uh, and where we are, we came up and we defined three different types of relationship that we want to build today. So development partners where we can work with organizations that are able because of their makeup and their skill set, to be able to take the sun cell technology and integrate it into a, um, uh, a, an existing process and work with us to uh, exploit that process, as well as, of course, work with some of the other byproducts that come as a result of, of that, which I'll, I'll go into in a second. Um, secondly, uh, we looked at strategic partners. So, a strategic partner is, for us, a customer that is an early adopter of our technology. We're evaluating a number. Um, really, the, the, the characteristics of which I, I, I'll go into in a second. But we need to have customers that will work with us through this testing process, also provide us with proof of concept sites, and have engineering capability to be able to support what we, uh, what, what we need and, of course, what our partners need uh, uh, throughout, the, throughout the testing cycle. And we want them to benefit from that. So there needs to be an investment opportunity for them uh, to benefit from this upside. Um, and then finally, uh, distributors. So distributors for us um, you know, are obviously in, in markets that are perhaps more difficult for us to address um, because of, of the regulatory requirements or, 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 or geography. Um, but they also may be... Uh, opportunities where we can work with uh, existing organizations that have uh, got a, a, an infrastructure that we can use, such as a telecoms company. They have trucks on the street, they have engineers, they don't supply power today, maybe we can work with them as a, as a, a, a B2B model. So we're evaluating all of those things. And a number of those organizations are, are currently under NDA, having conversations with us uh, as, as we speak. Okay. So... We then took that model and then we aligned it to who do we want to speak to right now. Uh, when we started, we were back here, so we talked to some development partners. Um, we, uh, you know, we have uh, 
you know, a, a number, as I say, of, of those, of those uh, here in the room. Um, but we're also looking at various different processes that we can attack as a result of, uh, of that process. We are generating lots of power. Um, that power in the first instance could be used for desalination um, because that's a process where we can use it, fill a tank, and then use it again. <laughs> um, the same as generating hydrogen, ammonia, and, and other, and other uh, uh, situations like that. Um, we then also have been looking uh, for, for distributors, and we've started conversations predominantly in those countries of interest. Um, when we start talking to some of the larger telecoms organizations, we, we've been speaking to one particular very large mobile operator, um, they want us to solve their energy problems inside out. Their big problem isn't the UK or the US, it's India. <laughs> and uh, so we need to be able to be in a position to be able to support that you know, latent demand as, as one of the things that we're, we're, we're looking at. Um, and so distribution is very, very important for us. And then, of course, uh, strategic partners. Um, one of the first things we did when uh, I came on board is we looked at the formation of an industry advisory board. Uh, Colin Bannon kindly spoke uh, earlier. We also have uh, David Meredith from CenturyLink. We, um, we have Matt Key, who uh, was from Vodafone, now from a company called EveryNet. We've also uh, have had Bill Maurer, um, who's, who's over there, uh, uh, trying to hide, um, uh, who uh, runs ABM Industries energy business. Um, you know, very well connected, understands the market very, very well, as well as also um, Scott Doyle from Free Frank, who's a long-term member of, of, the, of the Brilliant Light group. Um, uh, and uh, we've also had um, Mike Harney, who, who again is a, is a finance expert. So we've put this team together so that we are able to you know, ask questions of customers uh, as to what this needs to look like and also structure the, the, the de these deals accordingly. And we're adding to that, um, that, that group uh, uh, as we go. So um, I talked about the different um, uh, byproducts of the Hydrino process. I mean, it's very important to note we are producing you know, thousands of Kelvin of heat. It's more, it's, it's more than you can get in, in most ovens for, you know, even things like sintering processes and that, 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 that can be used and applied in, 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 uh, uh, in, in different industrial processes. Tremendous amounts of light, you, you, you've all seen that. And of course, um, dihydrino grass, which um, as I now understand is an excellent helium substitute and uh, uh, is, is much, much cheaper, of course, for us to produce. Um, and of course, the power. Uh, and when we talk about working with the development partners, um, we're talking about generating uh, power or using the technology to generate power sources that, that are different uh, to the target markets that we've been looking at before. And certainly, those fall into perhaps military or, or defense or um, space or other applications where we can't guarantee that we'll be uh, getting it back. Um, so therefore, our leasing model might not quite work as well. Um, uh, it's a very, very important. Um, just very quickly, when we talk about a development partner, we talk about the sort of key characteristics. We want to work with reputable firms that understand the uh, process of invention and engineering. Uh, we want them to be part of um, the, the, the group, and we want our teams and our learning to be, to, to be shared with them. Um, we will give them a license to operate that technology. Um, we will also provide them with development support. Um, and we, you know, we, we, we want to look for ongoing royalties uh, from, from that as a, as a commercial option. Um, you know, we are also looking for uh, distributors. We um, uh, have a, a number of uh, uh, distribution conversations uh, uh, underway. And we focused, as I said, specifically on countries uh, that we um, have or, or will find it difficult in the first instance to be, ab to be able to operate in. Um, uh, and I've alluded to, it, to a number of those. But also very opportunistically, we uh, have the opportunity to turn organizations that weren't previously power companies into power companies. And that's a great commercial opportunity for a number of these 
uh, uh, groups, and, and, and we shouldn't ignore that. Um, for a distributor to, to work for us in this current phase, we need them to be able to obviously understand the regulatory environment of where, where we're operating. We need them to have uh, either an ecosystem of partners that allows them to be able to, um, to uh, install, maintain, and uh, obviously deliver a service for these sun cells. But also, um, we, we, we want them to uh, be able to work with us to uh, you know, d deploy the, the enhancements that we make as we, as, as we go forward and, and as we uh, uh, generate the new technology and we, and we get that out to market. So um, it's a revenue share model. Uh, it's a, a, a license to distribute within, within, a, within a territory. Um, and of course, we're going to be providing all the necessary uh, training and support uh, to be able to uh, operate in, the, uh, in, in this way. And then finally, we talk about the strategic partners. So I said, when we talk about this, it's a technology-minded organization. We need uh, 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 organizations that are used to adopting technology. We've looked uh, specifically at the telecoms, media, and technology market as a result of that. That's the reason why we've had a number. You'll look at our, uh, our industry advisory board, and you'll see a number of telecoms uh, uh, companies represented. Um, but there are other organizations that, you, you know, that we, we're also considering. Um, these guys are going to be uh, you know, typically large power users. What's very, very important for us is that there's a testing facility. So we can't expect, once we get through prototype, to be giving field trial units and for them to be deployed into the field. What we really want are organizations that have a lab and a, an intelligent workforce that can go out and uh, uh, test the sun cell against the various different loads that we need uh, to, um, to, 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 to that th they need to support. And finally, of course, provide us with those proof of concept sites that we can pre-agree and that we can work with them through the process of doing, doing that. We've come up with some inventive commercial models to support that, which of course include um, uh, equity investment in the company for ultimately free power. One of the biggest challenges I've always had uh, when bringing new technology to market is, well, why would I work with you? All I'm going to do is increase your value. So now we want to give them the opportunity to be able to participate in that value as, as we take it forward. OK. Um, so one statement I wanted to leave you with is that you know, we are taking orders now. We have a commercial team. We have a, a, a product that is, uh, as I say, moving forward, as you've seen today, um, into prototype and is, in fact, going to be uh, launched within the, the next 18 months. So my role is to ensure that we, uh, we, we, we do that, and we do that efficiently over the next um, uh, 12 months as, as, we, as we bring the product to market. And um, you know, I look for your support as the uh, potential customers or investors or, 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 or um, uh, support people to be able to help me with that role. So thank you very much. Are there any questions? Yes. Two questions. First one. Uh, with development partners, they will no doubt develop their own IP related to Hydrina process. Are you doing anything to secure cross pollinization, uh, recipro reciprocity of the use of uh, such IP? Yes, is, it, is, is the short answer. And, and as we haven't signed a, a development partner contract yet, I can't be very specific as to how we do that. Although, rest assured, um, Protection of our invention is fundamental. Um, obviously, though, joint ownership of, a, uh, of the invention of, a, of serving another, uh, another way of serving a process will, will be something that we'll, we'll be looking at considering. Okay. Yeah. My, my second question was related to uh, your, your business model of leasing devices uh, for the power. Yeah. And who is, where is the capital going to come from for building the devices which you lease? Uh, which you lease? So, uh, obviously, um, you know, as, as, we, as we move forward into that commercial uh, uh, stage, then there will be other financing events that will, will, will support that. Plus, of course, um, we are working with the organizations that are our initial leasing partners to uh, support uh, an amount of that money on order. Yeah. Thank you. Question here. Uh, the, the field test and uh, prototype units, um, what, what size can we expect and what applications are we talking about there? 
Well, this is the size of, this is an actual unit. So you can, you can see um, uh, that, um, w w what applications? Um, very simple ones. <laughs> this is basically the, uh, the, the answer to that. We certainly aren't going to be putting any uh, hospitals or critical data center loads uh, on, on, on the system uh, in the first instance. However, um, uh, some applications that we've looked at are for uh, less important administration buildings with, good fa with, with, with uh, failover capability. We've discussed actually at the advisory board yesterday uh, some colleges that would be very interested. Um, uh, Colin Bannon uh, is a um, is a lecturer at, or guest lecturer at, at Warwick. Uh, they've just opened Warwick University in the UK. They've opened a new Tata's opened a new uh, uh, group there, and of course that's a, that's a great opportunity for us. So those are the types of loads that we'll be we focused on: very simple, safe loads in the first instance. Before we then move to the more complex loads, as we've gone through the testing. Are there any more questions? Yes. You guys talked with the, uh, it's a totally different question, but have you guys talked to the U.S. Department of Treasury about the actual exportability of this technology? Just curious. So, no, is the answer. We, we've, um, we've focused very much on um, getting the technology to market uh, in the first instance. Um, although we are, um, in, in the next phase, starting to look at all of those implications. There, there are other... Other considerations as well around company structure, how we begin to operate, in which, in, in which markets, all of that, uh, you, you know, we're, we're, we're taking uh, uh, advice on and, and certainly is, um, it is under consideration. Well aware that we need to, though, in, 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 certain, in, in certain instances, yeah. So, any, any further questions? Oh, hello there. How yeah. far away might a public offering be? Good question, um, and I'm going to leave that one to Randy to answer. You're not going to, can't get me fired that quickly. <laughs> okay, of that I'm going to, I'm going to hand back to uh, Randy to close, uh, close out here. So, um, do we have any uh, further questions? Well, that was easy. It looks like Dominic took care of everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we really appreciate having everybody out here, and uh, I think you you can see that we're uh, we're on a uh, a lightning streak path to uh, commercialization. We're uh, totally focused on that. We'll be doing uh, some more validations. We'll be doing some more presentations. Um, and uh, we'll keep you informed of our progress as we can. And uh, again, we look forward to having you back again, our next event. I have one question. Yes, one under the wire. Yeah. So it's, it's, this is a, remark a remarkably open process that we've been shown the development of this thing. Yes. Um, do you see that going on, or is, are we going to be going dark sooner or later? As, as my uh, no, I think, we're gonna, I think we're so far ahead, theoretically, technologically. Engineering-wise, partner-wise, business strategy-wise, massive patents. Um, I, I think we're going to start picking up partners, and uh, it's so big and so important. And if uh, we think we're eventually going to have to get, um, well, we're going to have to put power in all corners of the earth, and uh, that's going to require some education, and it's going to cause uh, some disruption in academia and in industry, and uh, I think an open dialogue is going to be conducive to uh, facilitating our end goal, which is to proliferate this worldwide. So that being the case, um, thank you again, and I'll call the meeting uh, adjourned, and uh, look forward to hosting you at the next meeting. Thank you.